Did you know that we can set environment variables in our config? Yeah. I was reading the cargo book and this is what I found. So in your project, you can create a .cargo directory and then within that directory, create a config.toml file to hold your config options. There are plenty of config options, but I want to focus on the env option. env allows you to set environment variables for your project. The first variation just sets the value. The second variation allows you to set the value and set the forced option to true, which means that this value cannot be overwritten at runtime. The third variation allows you to point to a different config file and that config file will set the variable. For this video, we only care about the first variation. Here's my project. I've already created a .cargo directory. Here's what my config looks like. I'm setting an environment variable called testing env to hello world. Here's what my program looks like. I'm pulling in the value of the environment variable into my program and then printing it. There are two ways of pulling environment variables into your program. And I didn't realize that they did different things until I was figuring out this video. Let me demonstrate. So I ran cargo run. And as you can see, both of the values are the same. Now I'm going to set the environment variable in my command. Value one is still hello world, while value two is the updated value of bye, 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 bye. So what happened? The env macro documentation tells you that it sets the value of the environment variable at compile time. If you want to read the value at runtime, use env var. So the first time I ran the program, it compiled and set the value. The second time I ran the program, nothing was changed. So there was no need for the program to recompile. As such, it used the value that was previously set, which was hello world. Wild, right? The first day I ran into this, I thought I was going crazy. Like I was changing things, I wasn't changing things, and the value was seemingly doing whatever it wanted. But now that I understand it, it, it does make sense. Anyway, I hope that helps. And until next time. Peace.